Hello everyone, welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. Well, you guys watched me make the spiles and then you watched me make the uh, containers. And like before, um, I had said in the other video, the birch trees still are not dripping. The maple trees, we're getting some out of those, but not very much yet. But today only got to 38 degrees. So it's got to get warmer faster during the day, which is going to happen in the next few days. But this is a box elder tree. And I've never made box elder sap before, so I'm really anxious about this. And that's about 24 hours. Now, when I just go right to this side of the same tree, you can see the taps right there. And I'm just using metal taps on these because I had some left over from last year. And this is only about two and a half hours. That's how fast this side is dripping. And it's only that far away. So anyway, I've got two other um, box elders that I have tapped here. And I'm going to empty those tonight because these are this one over here almost has to be. It's got about a half an inch to go before it starts leaking out the hole. And I'm going to boil these down just to see what it tastes like. Here only has maybe an inch and a half in the bottom, and it's that's been about two hours on this one. This one here's got a little bit more in it. So anyway, there's not a whole lot of sugar in the sugar to water ratio in a box elder, but we should have enough to at least get a little bit so we can see if it tastes good or you know is it worth it or not. Okay, so that's what we collected today out of the four box elder trees. I got roughly two two liter bottles of sap here. So anyway, I got this on high right now. We're gonna let it boil down. And this is basically exactly how you would make maple syrup, um, birch syrup. This is box elder syrup. This is mainly water. Um, box elder has like about a 60 to one ratio on water to sugar. Uh, maple has 40 to 1, birch is like 100 to 1, and you can read different things all over that say different amounts. But So anyway, we should get, what, four tablespoons out of this? Not a whole lot, but this is how you would make syrup. You would turn this on, you're going to boil all the water out, and water boils at 212. And when we get down to the syrup, when it gets way down there, I'll put it into a smaller pan. And we want to put a thermometer in there because your syrup will boil at 219 to 220, depending on how thick you want it. So uh, we're going to do this inside because it's a small amount. If you were doing a big amount, you'd want to do it outside because that's a lot of water to be putting into your house. But anyway, I want to go feed the rabbits, and we're going to let this start to boil. Well, I let that boil down until I just have a small amount of liquid here. So now we're going to put it into a smaller pan so we can kind of keep track of it a little bit easier. You'll be able to tell when it's getting close because it starts to really bubble up like that. And as it gets closer and thicker and down to the consistency it needs to be, those bubbles, they they like pop a little bit slower. You can see that they're getting real sticky. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting down there now. Okay, when we get down to the very end like this, and granted it would be easier if there was more in this bowl, but we're just trying to get a taste here. you got to be real careful so it doesn't um, boil too hard and burn. So just stir it and watch it real close. You can see what I mean now, how it's, it looks sticky. Everything is, uh, the bu bubbles are popping slow and it, it's getting really close. Okay, well our syrup is done. Now remember, if you're doing this for the first time, use a thermometer get it to that 219 to 220 I've done this before this is such a small amount it would have been very hard to use the thermometer anyway I'm gonna get this in a little cup so you can see what it looks like okay everyone there's the finished product that's about how much you get out of uh, four liters of sap I'm gonna give this a taste it's got a chance to cool down a little bit it's real thick Oh, that is incredible. It is so sweet, so sugary, which is amazing because when you just drink the sap right out of the tree, it's so mildly not sweet. You know, it's just like mildly flavored water. Anyway, there you go. That's a, a little con uh, smaller version on how you make uh, syrup and a taste test on box elder. And I would give box elder is really good. I'm not saying it's, it's a little bit of a different taste than uh, maple but it is really good. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones X Survival Channel.